students, it's Ms. DeCesar back again with some speaking, reading, listening, and writing activities. All right. Okay, so first thing, um, you're gonna tell an adult or your sibling, what do you see in the picture? What are the colors, sounds, shapes, feelings? What are they doing in the picture? Do you know what it's called? Why do you think they're doing it? And what do you think will happen next? Okay, so last time I gave you a closed passage and I just promised that I would give you the answers. I'm just gonna read the paragraph so that you can check your work. First, spring weather. Spring is the season when the whole world wakes up. The cold days of winter turn into the warm days of spring. In March, the snow melts in the mountains. In April, showers soak the ground, and the sunshine of May brings new growth everywhere. People say that April showers bring May flowers. Spring plants. One of the earliest signs of spring is the new buds growing on the trees and new sprouts emerging from the ground. The cherry blossom tree is one of the first to bloom with blossoms of pink and white. Spring is also the season of tulips and daffodils. In the countryside, farmers sow their seeds into the ground and hope for good weather. With luck, they will have good crops to harvest in fall. Spring animals. As the weather gets warm, bears and frogs come out of their long winter sleep, called hibernation. Many animals in the forest give birth to babies. Birds return from the south. They build nests to lay eggs in. When the eggs hatch, the mother bird busies herself finding words to feed her young. All right, and we have a new um, reading passage today. Um, one of the vocabulary words is cliff. Uh, my second grade friends have had this word before. So this area where I'm pointing to is a cliff. Okay, so looking around, what do you think about when you see this? Okay, all right, next word is lagoon. My third grade friends, uh, Peter Pan always goes to the mermaid lagoon. So this is what it looks like. And then the word is plunge. This boy is plunging into the water. And we are going to be watching. The story is about cliff diving. And I just wanted to show you what that looked like. Hold on. Get it full screen. Gentlemen, I have an announcement. So that's pretty neat. Um, very brave to do that. So oh, coming back here. All right, our story is about cliff diving, and you're going to be visualizing it. So you're going to be wanting to do the beginning, middle, and end. Okay, it's called cliff diving. The man climbed to the top of the high seaside cliff for his first cliff dive. Far below, the anxious crowd on the rocks grew still as he stepped to the edge and gazed down at the lagoon. The man waited until the water rose high with a passing wave and then jumped out. He arced down in a graceful dive, just missing the rocks and plunged clear to the bottom. As he came to the surface, the crowd broke out in cheers. Okay, so again, you wanna fold your paper and do beginning, middle, and end. Our listening activity, you will need a uh, paper and a pencil and some crayons. Okay, so the story today has the shovel in the bottom right corner. So draw that first before you start. Okay, whenever you're ready, pigs like to dig in the mud. Draw a pig in the mud next to the shovel. Draw a big pig in the lower left corner. Draw a wig on the big pig. Draw a cloud and sun in the upper right corner. Draw a house made of twigs in the upper left corner. Draw a pile of twigs next to the house. Then color the picture. Next time I'll show you what you should have drawn. Okay, last part. Today's writing prompt is, would you rather have a pet cat or dog and why? Okay, so you gotta pick one or the other that you would love to have. And you need to tell me why. Okay, second and third grade, I want one paragraph. And fourth and fifth grade, I'd like two paragraphs. Remember that capitalization and punctuation. Okay, topic sentence, three juicy details, and a conclusion sentence. All right, I will be back to give you more on Tuesday. Bye.